Hello, I'm Susan from Maths on Toast and today I'm going to show you how to make a paper boat. A paper boat that actually floats. So it will look something like this. Okay, so what you'll need is some paper and I found that the best paper for floating is the paper that has a colour on one side and it's just white on the other. But you can use any paper. The first thing you need to do is fold your piece of paper in half. Like this. And then you're going to do the same again. So fold your paper in half again. And open it out. And you'll notice that you have a crease down the middle. The next thing you need to do is take this corner and fold it down to the crease. So it should look something like that. And then you're going to do the same with the other side and take this corner down to the crease. So it looks like that. The next thing you need to do is take the flap at the bottom, so you'll notice you've got two flaps now, the top flap, you're going to fold it up until you meet the triangle, the bottom of the triangle. So it will look like that. And then you need to fold it over and do the same again. And it should look something like that, like a little hat. What you need to do now is just open up the bottom and you'll notice you've got two flaps. They look a little bit scruffy, so you just need to tuck one flap under the other. Okay. And then you do the same at the other side, so just take one side and tuck it under the other. Once you've done that, you're going to just flatten your new shape on a half surface. Just make sure that all your creases are firmly pressed down. So you should have something that looks like that. The next thing you need to do is take the bottom point on the top piece or the top fold and you're going to take that point to the top. So fold that to there. So it should look like that. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. So take the bottom point and fold it to the top. Press it down. And then if you open up the bottom, it looks a little bit like a bee. <laughs> We're just going to press that down. Again, make sure all the creases are firmly pressed down. Now if you wanted to, you could actually take the two points at the top, pull it apart and you can make your paper boat that way. But if you want a sturdier boat that will float for longer, you need to do an extra fold. So, once you've got that shape, it's nice and flat, you need to, just like before, take the bottom point and fold it up to the top. So it looks like that and then turn it over and do exactly the same again so take the bottom point and fold it up to the top so you have a small triangle just like before open it out at the bottom it looks a little bit like a beak and then you're going to take the two points now and you're going to pull them apart. Just gently pull them. With the bit that's in the middle, you're just going to flatten that slightly so it gives you the inside of your boat. So push it down at the bottom, flatten, flatten it at the sides and near the top, and then maybe give your boat a little pull. Okay. Make sure it looks like a boat. 
and so it should look like that in the middle that's the bottom and then from the side it looks like that and your paper boat is ready to test so you could maybe test it in the sink or the bath or perhaps in a paddling pool or maybe a stream or a pond <laughs>